Hi, my name is Jamie Haynes, and I've been asked to share with you uh, some information about interventions for the recovery of uh, from pushing syndrome. And so I'm just going to discuss a few things about what the research says and some anecdotal uh, information about what has helped me in the clinic. And then you're going to see some videos of me working with someone who is recovering um, from a stroke who has tendencies toward uh, pushing on uh, one side. So enjoy, and if you have any questions, please contact the Stroke Special Interest Group through the Academy of Neurologic Physical Therapy. Thanks. We talk about and using the clinic a lot of times is taking out that pushing side. So whether it's putting that um, hand on a ball so they can't push or on their shoulder or on their head or the foot on a ball or something that's squishy. Um, you can also consider using friction reducing devices. Those are pretty slippery. So if someone were to put their foot on that or to put their hand on that, um, it's a little more difficult to push when they have that uh, slippery surface. So consider developmental positions, whether it's sideline or prone on elbows or in four point that allows for more proprioceptive input allows us to control our patients a little bit better and it tends to be a little bit safer they're also really functional computer generated visual feedback such as the Wii Fit board now I don't have access to that in my clinic um, but that is certainly something that in the research has been shown to be pretty effective utilizing that Wii Fit board to work on balance and to aligning to hit objects and targets another thing that's come out in the research recently is the use of the locomat that looked at um, helping people calibrate to vertical alignment uh, causes less fear because patients know they cannot fall and is high repetition of, of walking. Also consider the use of safe patient handling equipment such as overhead gantry systems, floor-based lifts, body weight supported treadmill training. Uh, these uh, types of equipment allow us to put our hands on patients without worrying about them falling or tipping over and can really allow for a lot of error augmentation which has been found to be in the literature something that needs to happen for people to recover from Cushing syndrome. you to reach up to that corner. Good. And down. And now over. Good. And then up. Good. Good. And back up here. Good. And back over here. And down here. Good. Good. And over. Good. Can you take a step a little bit? Step forward. That's it. Good. And back. And back. Good. And again, take a step. Over. Good, match your nose. Good, and reach down. That's it, good. Good, and up one more time. Good. Into the middle. Good. Good, three more. Get that shoulder. Right there. Good. Get that shoulder way out. Good, and back. Good, and relax. 